haven't been happy with their crowd so far. They're down around 30%. As Burton puts the ball into the dangerous area on that six-yard box, and it was Jonathan Taylor almost getting the decisive contact. Well, certainly, but the, the point you've just made in, in brief reference, coming to Perth, the Perth Oval and playing in front of this gallery, the players really should, the visiting players, should really absorb the atmosphere and get as much out of it as they can. Murray, chance here for Horsley. And Perth find the target just seven minutes into the match. And it was Matthew Horsley celebrating his return to the first team. Well, a real test of their finals credentials, this for the Kings. Miller goes towards the back post, arriving late was Hanwell. And again, the glory have converted. This time it's Shane Price. Again, the Kings defence all at sea. And that is a disaster as far as the Kings are concerned. All smiles among the Perth players. But those defensive problems resurfacing again. Well, terrible defending from the Kings. You can't describe it any other way. Now they have to break down the wall of eight or nine purple shirts. Young on that far side. Goes into the feet of Nata. He needs support. Gets it from Burton. Atkinson. Nata again. Doing well to hold off Burns. Atkinson. A good move that from the Kings. A very good move that from the visitors. And the second from Shane Price. Two players perhaps less familiar in the goal scoring stakes. Composed enough to finish the job as Darren Young does ever so well under pressure. Despotowski looking to get into a one on one situation. That is 100% commitment there from the left fullback. And again, Petkovic launches it long. That is a familiar Perth Glory tactic. For rebounding off Miyazawa, switches the point of attack. Horsley, chance here for the glory to make it three, and they do so. Bobby Despotowski rubs salt into the wound, and it is a big wound indeed. Horsley free initially. I really don't seem to know what to do when these corners and free kicks come their way. Horsley. Gumprecht. And the save came from Utting. He did enough to tip the shot onto his crossbar. Well, there's enough possession here for the Kings, but uh, really not penetrating. Young this time with an early ball in. Away by Horsley. And the shot came in from Atkinson, and fair enough too, because what five, six, seven passes there for the Kings, and they barely made any forward movement. Perhaps deliver the ball in towards the goal, give it a swing, and it's been played short once again. Vlahos, Miyazawa, Nata they might get something out of this. The Kings, Miyazawa again, playing it off, and Chris Jackson it was with a shot which just cleared the crossbar. Vlahos, some 25 metres or so out, squares it to Jackson. His shot was not too far away. That's the second time now that Chris Jackson has had a shot from distance. The second time it has been reasonably close to the goal. But it wouldn't stop the delivery, hopeful and in the air to those particular players. Merger. Oh, Mori looked to be offside. No flag was up, and he's onside this time. Danger here for the Kings. Splendid save from Utting. As the Kings come up to the halfway line, Atkinson goes over the top looking for Erlovich. And Harnwell almost making a mess of things. But rescued by his goalkeeper. Still Perry down inside his own six yard box, keeping the entire glory 
team on side. Might beg a few questions. Miyazawa has given it away. Gumprecht. Gumprecht. And Gumprecht finds the opening past the goalkeeper into the bottom corner of the goal. And that's 4 0 to the glory. But I imagine the Kings will be asking the question where was the sporting gesture? Where was the ball over the sideline? Jonathan Perry down injured inside his own six yard box, keeping the entire Perth Glory side onside. And Gumprecht with his first goal in the National League. A mere couple of weeks ago. I would expect them to toil on manfully, though. And for the remaining parts of this match, it's about cohesion and confidence and trying to re-establish those two very important commodities. Nata. Harry Nata inside the box. Well, Harry Nata did the right thing there. That's what a striker's job is to do, and that is take responsibility. He did have players inside him. But he was well within his rights there, Harry Nada. But sadly for him, of course, the execution let him down. Out comes Petkovic and drops the ball, but no one following through for the Kings. The quick throw from the goalkeeper finds Mori. Here's Gumprecht. Mori continues his run. Merger has stayed on side. Superb counter this from the glory. Merger onto his favourite left peg. He's made an awful mess of it there, Nick Merger. Four different goal scorers for the glory. And as we've already mentioned, surprisingly, Damien Mori is not one of them. Gompreck, here's Mori. Miyazawa all at sea. Mori in on goal, cuts it back. And finally, it goes in from Nicky Murdajar, who didn't really seem to know too much about it. And it's five now for the glory. The video nasty gets nastier for the Kings. So after that memorable victory against Newcastle before Christmas, it's just got from bad to worse ever since. And it might get even worse here. Murdajar. Close to his second. A great save from Michael Ludding again. In it comes from Bradley Hassel. Hanwell. Mark Atkinson off the line. It could have been worse for the Kings. Hanwell not picked up at all. Plenty of power. And the header from Jamie Hanwell. This is his trademark. And Mark Atkinson. Rescuing the Kings with that goal line clearance. The pressure, though, continues. Gumprecht. And that is a delightful goal from the German, Andre Gumprecht. Not one, but two goals for the glory. Six in all for Perth, two to the German. It's party time here at the Perth Oval. 6 nil the scoreline for the glory. Two to Andre Gumprecht. Here's Turner. Left by Blahos Erlovic. At least he tested the goalkeeper. Oh, we've just had a note passed to us which suggests the fifth goal of the game. Scored by Nick Merger may have been disallowed, although we don't have any confirmation of that be a strange decision if that was the case 6-0 is the score line as we understand it or is it 6-1 Petkovic on his line denies Jackson it's yet another corner for the Kings and again they play it short it's a broken record here's Blahos and it's all over the horror show ends for the Kings. Their heaviest defeat of the season. A night of pure joy for the Perth Glory.